What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Division 2, almost said the Division 1 because we got some kind of comparisons here that we're going to make, but we're going to be talking about the Division 2 today, but before we get into all that guys, friendly reminder that if you guys are new to the channel and you guys enjoy my content, to make sure that you guys click that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my Division 2 videos, but with all that out of the way guys, let's get right into it. Now, today we're going to be talking about how... The Division 2 was kind of, I, I don't know, I they, they kind of led us down the wrong path. They kind of lied to us, and, and I'll tell you why. They talked about being all about the end game, but right now, it kind of seems that the end game is broken. Now, initial launch and initial, initial couple of weeks, the, the end game was fine, and it was, it was okay. Now, after a couple of patches and a, a, a release of some content, we're kind of seeing this issue that it is a problem and the problem stems from one big issue that they, they they just refuse to actually think about and it's not completely separating pvp from pve so because they don't want their gear talents their skills and all that and for and for powerful players because pvp will be made into a toxic area like the division one division one pvp was crazy because and i Literally, I told so many people this based on the fact that I thought that that's how this game was going to go. The Division 1 PvP was your build. Your, the build you made, uh, all your gear sets, all your talents, all that, was what you went into PvP with. There was no like real normalization. It was just, you know, you got what you were, And if you didn't have the gear to, you know, play with the big dogs, you got stomped. And it made it a very unfun experience for players and a lot of players didn't even play pvp especially players that were coming in at the ass end of the game just to kind of like see the things that they missed and things like that it, it wasn't a fun experience you got melted on a regular basis because you didn't have the build to make it so that you were an effective way to play but the problem with them doing this is that they're making it so pvp and pve are kind of in the same boat and with that a lot of the talents and things get nerfed for pve players leaving pve players wondering what's going on and most of it is because of pvp most of the changes have no matter which way you think about it come from pvp they don't want the game to be toxic like division one everybody had had shock turrets and support stations and and everything was crazy you know every, everything was, was was a very difficult means to to killing people if you think it's hard to kill people in division two right now it's it was way harder because they had things like support stations which would heal you over an area and things like that but because of this uh, it's a problem the campaign was pretty great in division two but in the campaign, you're not really, you know, you're not really dealing with gear sets or anything like that. You're not, you're not, you don't have to deal with anything but, you know, playing through the game. And it was, initially, it was a pretty fun experience. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed having the, the, you know, getting the different weapons and leveling up. And now we've hit in-game. And there's so many things that we shouldn't, we don't get, which should be a given. You know, we left off in Division 1 with different things. You know, the option to craft whatever weapon we wanted any, any amount of times to get god rolls. You know, we left off with really good gear sets and really good ways to maximize your build. And there was actual rolls. You know, in this game, they took away the ult. Now, uh, one thing that I want to just talk about real quickly is the ult system inside of the Division 1. They had one that uh, maximized your movement speed. They had one that buffed your team's defense at the time and they had one that buffed your damage now this was a really cool thing based on the fact that it kind of fell into people's roles you know there wasn't many people you would see out there that would you know be stacking up tank builds and then pop out with some damage buffs you know it, they would be even be more tanky you know and things like that but they had roles they had a reasons to play with your squad and reasons to have certain builds now everybody in this game has to stack damage and that's kind of the issue it, it, you're you're not as effective to your team if you're not stacking damage also for some reason a lot of the abilities have to be you know manually targeted you know there's not 
it, there's no reason to play anything but a damage build and you know the specializations all of those are bonus damage they don't do anything for your team except for put out more damage there is it, it, it almost feels like we're being railroaded into playing you know a just a regular old game like it's not it doesn't feel like a looter shooter it doesn't feel like an rpg at this point based on the fact that all you're kind of just like i said railroaded into making these decisions and you don't get to have really a tank build at the current moment you don't really get to have a damage build now granted there is a new recalibration system on the pts that's coming out soon that's going to uh help out with some of these issues that i'm talking about today that's going to make your you know, your build a little bit more tanky. That's going to make your build a little bit more uh, damage focused and things like that. And uh, you know, they're also trying to make improvements to skill power. So this is not me saying that they're not trying to fix it, but the best way for them to fix this so we don't have this problem again because it seems like a problem that's going to be uh, rearing its head more and more often than where the more we uh, flow through the game the way to do this the way to go about doing this is to make sure that you're you, you separate pvp and pve that's the best way to do it. i don't know i don't know if they can do it but that's that's what i'm seeing is the issue right now because you had to nerf certain talents based on pvp which if you didn't have to nerf those talents and you just separated the two I, and I, I, you know, what? I'm not even saying that I know how to functionally do that because I don't know whether you would take out your, you know, take out talents in general in PvP and call it a day, could just normalize it all the way, or what you would do about it. If you guys have an opinion on how they could separate the two, I would love to see that in the comment section below. But yeah, there, there, there's just this is crazy because, you know, I go back and I look at Division 1 and I play Division 1 a little bit and you know some of the bizarre changes they made uh is it's just crazy I, one thing that i want to say is that i really need them to fix the skill power situations i really feel like that can help people make a different type of build that would be more effective for uh, pvp and pve based on the fact that right now they're kind of like gatekeeping skill mods and it's kind of a problem like skill power is still ridiculously high and their only means of fixing that is to not lower the skill power price or, or, or needed, but to give us rare um, skill mods, like blue skill mods that actually do a little bit more. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see more and more as the weeks come, but I definitely want to hear you, your opinion on this, guys. Do you guys still think that this game can be even considered an RPG at the current moment, or do you guys think that it's going down a bad path? What do you guys think? Uh, personally, I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section down below, and I hope that you guys have a nice, wonderful rest of your day. With that being said, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.